my God. And you call yourself a journalist. He's the story. The indignity that man endured his entire life. And still he had such humanity, such grace. Christ, you make him sound like a saint. Well, maybe he was. Maybe that's what being a saint is all about. You just wanted it so much. Oh, I don't believe this. I thought that marriage would change me. I thought that if I said and I did all the right things, that I would just feel it. That it would just be so. But... What, <laughs> what about the, the kids? Was, was that all a lie? Do you really see me pushing a stroller, Jamie, and going on play dates? Honestly. Yeah, Shane. Come on in. We need to have a little chat. Oh, sweet Jesus. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> right. I thought that it might be important to remind you of where you work. He here at Believers, we tell stories from the good book at the end of the session. Last year's Abraham and Isaac left a little to be desired. The audience didn't appreciate the use of a dummy for the sacrifice. Patrick, I can't just up and leave. I have things I need to finish up. I, I have we a project. We agreed that if we were unhappy, we would go back to normal. Please, just come home. <laughs> I'm being transferred back to Nebraska. Oh, are you? Joe, I'm married. I'm so sorry. From here, I'm not aware of these. Do you have any new servers or bartenders that may not be following the guideline? No, but we are very short staffed. We probably aren't watching it as closely as we should. I can talk to them. They know they have my full support when it comes to cutting off a customer. I probably just need to remind them. Brandy, we're hoping you can work with us today. Yeah. I've seen greater variation in the delivery fulfillment over the last two weeks. Are there any fulfillment issues in the field? 